Good evening. So this evening I am going to do the continuation of um, Act 2, no, Act 3, Scene 2 of Much Ado About Nothing, where we've previously seen Benedict's monologue. Benedict is saying, nah, there is no way I'm getting married, and in fact marriage is for losers. I'm not going to get married until I find the perfect woman. This woman does not exist, or does she? She exists in the form of Beatrice. Um, who, incidentally, also Benedict really hates because she is everything he's not and everything he is, simultaneously. <sighs> How can this be possible? Um, and, whoa, deus ex machina. Um, Claudio, Benedict's best friend, Leonardo, Hero's father, um, and Beatrice's uncle, and Don Pedro, who is also a good friend of Benedict's, come onto the scene and say, Oh, isn't it strange how, how Beatrice is so madly in love with Benedict? Benedict, what? Um, and they continue on with the spiel saying, yeah, she will, she, she will sit up at night and write these long letters to Benedict and then tear them up and then bleep, sob, tear her hair and say, oh, sweet Benedict, God, give me patience. Yeah, I, I wish it were true. But it's all a subtle trick to make Benedict fall in love with Beatrice. I, I mean, he falls hook, line, and sinker for it, as you will see in a second. This can be no trick. Their conference was sadly born. They have the truth of this from Hero. They seem to pity the lady. Well, it seems their affections have had their her affections have had their full bent. Love me. must be requited. Hmm. They say that I will bear myself proudly if I perceive the love come from her. They say too that she would rather die than show any sign of affection. I never did think to marry. I must not bear myself proudly. Happy are they that can hear their detractions and can put them to mending. Hmm. They say the lady is fair. Tis a truth I can, I, I can bear them witness. I, and virtuous. Tis so I, I cannot reprove it and and wise, oh. But for loving me. That is no great addition to her wit, by my troth. Nor any great argument of her folly. For I, I will be. Horribly in love with her. chance have some odd quirks and remnants of wit broken out upon me because I have railed so long against marriage, but doth not the appetite alter? A man that loves the meat in his youth cannot endure it in his age. Oh. Oh. Quips and sentences and these paper bullets of the brain, or a man from the career of his humour? No! The world must be peopled. When I said that I would die a bachelor, I meant that I did not think that I should live till I were married. Hmm.
Here comes Beatrice. For my life. By this day, she is a fair lady. <laughs>